what's going on drive 2 crew Ramni here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys and once again we are going to be drawing a character from fortnite this time we are going to draw ripley versus sludge ripley or sludge depending i guess on how uh which character you want to choose and which which color you want him to look anyway so let's go ahead and get started i've got my paper in landscape mode because we're only going to be drawing him kind of just up to the waist here just to make it uh make it simple simplify things a little bit anyway so let's go ahead and get started now uh, he is a bit of an odd shape, so we're not really taking any conventional, you know, drawing of a human anatomy. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get started anyway. I've got my paper. Uh, I'm going to start it off right here with a circle. Now, it's not a perfect circle. I'm not worried about getting a perfect circle. Actually, what you want to do is you want to make that circle a little bit wider like this. Okay, so there you go. So it's a little bit more to the right of center here. Okay, and then here we're going to draw kind of the shoulder and I'm just going to draw a couple of lines. Remember to draw this lightly and here's the shoulder right there. Okay, and then now what you want to do is you want to bring, okay, so here's the side of the head. If you bring a line, draw a line all the way down, you don't want that shoulder to go all the way to the, to the side. Okay, you want to keep it to the left. So here's the shoulder, round off the back. Here's the curve of the back right here, and that's what you want right there. So it almost kind of looks like a heart shape, very, very funny looking heart shape, but there you go. Try to draw that as lightly as you can. I kind of drew it dark, partly to show you guys, but you don't want to, you know, start messing up when you try to erase things. Um, you can't erase them. That's always an issue. Okay, so anyway, let's go back over here and imagine this guy going down this line right here just going down like this so there's the waist we've established where the waist is going to go and you know i can i can even afford to make this slightly bigger even there you go now what i like about this character even though i don't play fortnite very much what i like about this character is just that the fact that he's transparent of course ripley i believe is the blue one and sludge is the red one Anyway, there you go. There's our shape. Here's that shape right there. What we're going to do is we're going to have his hands kind of over here, uh, one fist into the palm. I'm going to draw a dia diagonal square, a diamond right there. And then going to bring, uh, bring this, we're going to have an elbow right around here. So forearm, elbow, and this goes to the back kind of right there okay now we're gonna have the proper arm right around here okay and then this goes this way and this goes this way curve like that for the wrist there we are cool now you've got this is the fist if you draw like this then start it will start to look like a fist and then here we've got the hand, open palm, kind of wrapping itself around that, like that. And then this is where he's got like this big, funky looking hand or like forearm. It actually comes out, comes out with a gloopy, gloopy little thing there. And then this goes in, elbow's going to be right around here. Anyway, so it goes like this and then like that. Okay, so line and then kind of goes down. There you go. Wrist like so. Cool. All right. So there's that. Now let's kind of shape out his uh, overalls that he wears. I'm going to draw a line from here going across and below the elbow about over here imagine a, a line that goes from here going all the way up to there bring this now around 
And what you want to do is you want to stay within the outside line, like so, until you reach the bottom here. So you're essentially creating this side layer right here. And then you want to do that same thing. You want to create the side layer by doubling up on this line and then having it meet like so. Okay. Bring this down again. And then it comes out over here. Okay. Bring this across. You want to bring this lower than that. And then up twice. Cool. The, uh, you don't see the other strap that goes over the shoulder because it's covered, but imagine this also goes like this. So here's a part, we're gonna be drawing that part in later. And then here's that strap. And then some parts over here, some parts over here. And then we're gonna leave it like that just to, you know, make it, make this tutorial a little bit easier because uh, sometimes I wanna make uh, tutorials that are a little bit easier to draw so I can draw more tutorials. It's kind of how I want to do things sometimes. Although I end up doing a lot of elaborate tutorials and difficult tutorials mostly. Okay, there you go. So we are pretty much uh, done with the rough idea of how we want our uh, character to look. Now I'm going to zoom in, draw the face, draw the details, replace my pencil after this commercial break. Hey guys, this video right here is brought to you by these awesome Patreon patrons. If you are interested in knowing more about how to support this channel through Patreon, check out the link down below, patreon.com slash draw it to for more details. Anyway, let's uh, cut to commercial and then let's get back to business. All right, we're back you guys. Uh, now we are zoomed in on the face here and this is where you can decide for yourself whether you want to draw Ripley or you want to draw Sludge. For me, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw Ripley for this one. Um, but you know, you can do this tutorial again or you can trace it once you're done this one so that you can draw Sludge, the red character. Okay, so I'm taking the top, I'm gonna make it a pointy, a little bit more pointy. And then over here, I'm gonna create more like goopy, a goopy look one in that shape. And then the other one is going to be just a little mound that looks like that. Okay, now what I like is the translucency of this character. You see through, and then you, what you see through is a rounder shape. Not quite center. Not exactly perfect circle either. So you see that shape. And then you see the eyes are going to be here and right about here. And then you see a smile. Okay, there you go. Now, if you want to do uh, draw sludge, uh, you give him uh, angrier looking eyes. And then you give him a sad, sad face like this. So completely up to you how you want to draw him. Um, Again, reference photo for both characters is down below, so feel free to take a look at those. Okay, I'm gonna draw a circle in here, a circle over here. I'm just gonna color that in. I'm actually going to just outline inside and I'm gonna color in the outline. Might work better that way. There you go. And then right here we got two of these wrinkle lines. Not wrinkles, really, they're just folds. I don't even know what they are. There you go, and then here you got a little drip, a little drip from the, uh, from that face circle. And then another one right here. So this is all kind of teal colored. The rest of them is white, or sorry, not white, blue, light blue. There you go. And then, I'll give you a little bit of a technique to show a little more translucency on the character, but we're pretty much done with that part. We can add some bubbles inside. We'll add more a little bit later on, but yeah, that's a pretty cool 
anyway, so there's that. Let's um, go over here now and let's draw some straps. Well, just details on this strap that goes over the shoulder. There you go. Just like that. Okay, and then one over here. And then this goes in and then down. Okay. Now for this one, I'm going to draw two lines going down, going down on the inside there. And then over here, same thing. Over the shoulder, like so. It looks like there's another strap up here. I want to make that a little bit thicker than the rest, so there you go, it sticks out. And then here in the back, right around this area here, I'm going to draw two lines. And there you go. Now for the arm. That's pretty much all I'm looking for for the arm. Nothing, uh, no, not much details to it really. And then here, just there you go. So we're just um, cleaning up the lines. And then I'm going to zoom out and let's work on this torso area right here. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to divide this strap into a couple of different pieces. And one of them is going to come out this way and then down. Okay. Now this goes this way, this way, and then up. And then line, line. Cool. Now this is going to go down below and then across and it's actually going to come up on this side like this. So think of it as a like so, like that. And this little piece right here, I'm going to create a Here now, line going down, make it three dimensional, make it have a layer, some width to it. Okay, draw a circle there. Actually, let's go back up here, draw a circle here as well. Okay, there you go. Now, starting from here, let's do something similar. Go down this and it goes up okay I drew two lines right here you want to follow that line and then line going across like so okay now we're gonna draw a line going across right here and then a line going across over here what you want to do is you want to draw a third line here and then let's go down Back over here, I want to create now. See where we started those these two little corners here. You want to bring that the light line going straight down. And this goes like this, and diagonal down, go across, diagonal again, and then like that. And there you go. Now over here, there's going to be a lot of. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna draw them really, because I'm going to end my drawing right there. But he does have a couple of pouches that go along right here, here, and here. Okay, and then right here, it goes across and then down. Right there, and then here you got some sort of padding in the back. So this comes out, a bit of a rounded rectangular thing there and then one little 
rectangle there and then you got another rectangle going like this. So there you go. And then all we're really left with, I'm gonna replace my pencil here, uh, is the, the, the hand, are the hands. So let's go ahead and zoom in on that. And this is probably the trickiest part. And I do like to mention, just to let you guys know that hands are difficult to draw. And I do mention in my tutorials that, you know, it takes a while to actually master drawing hands. So forgive me if I go a little too fast in these tutorials because hands take a long time. And if I take a long time on, on drawing hands, then it'll just be, you know, a tutorial on hands. And yeah, it would just take, take a while. Okay, so what I did now is I created the wrist and then here you have the first layer and then second layer of the uh, gloves that he wears. Okay, there you go. And then imagine his fingers kind of just going underneath like so. And here at the top now, he's gonna have uh, fingers. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw them as sausages first. One there, two like this, three like this, and four like so. So those sausages are actually his other fingers wrapping over his fist. And then this goes like that. Now follow each finger. This, this, and then like that. And what they do is they come down and make a hand. Okay. Like that side and then one more like this. The thumb sticks out right here. And then here you got one little strap going down the side of the wrist guard. And that's it. Okay, and then this right here. And there you have it, you guys. Now we can draw these individual, don't draw too much of it, individual like little bubbles inside, like fizz bubbles inside the sludge. And yeah, just keep working at it. Up to you how much you guys want to draw. Don't draw uh, too much though, just enough to give it that effect. Anyway, so what I'm going to do just to create that translucency or the see-throughness of it, let me zoom out here. There he, there he is. Is I'm going to kind of draw the outline of where you want like the light to be shining. And then here you got a little shine right there. Here you got a little shine going like this, going across like that. Got a little shine out here, just like that. Shiny part there. And up here you got a shiny part going along like this. The shiny part going down. So I think that's it. All right, you guys, so there is Ripley or Sludge, whichever one you guys decide to draw, which facial expression you guys want to do. And I think that's it. Uh, one more thing, a little shininess in the, that little inside greenish circle as well and over here as well all right there you go i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'll catch you in the next one take care you guys
And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I appreciate that a lot. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So head on over to Instagram, tag me at draw2 so I can see your masterpieces. If you guys are ever curious about the tools that I use for drawing or the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have links in the description of this video. So make sure you guys check that out. If you are feeling extra generous, I have links down in the description as well for different ways that you can show your support on this channel. I already mentioned Patreon, but there are other ways as well. So be sure to check those out, links in the description. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that I can continue making videos just like this for you guys to enjoy free of charge. Again, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video right here, comment down below and share this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can find a free coloring page based on the tutorial drawing that is found in this video. Again, you guys, all of the links to those are found in the description of this video, so be sure to check that out. Finally, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw it too. I'll see you guys next time.